Hey, this is Josh. And this is Max, and we're in Yumi at six. And this is Rock Forever Magazine. Hey guys, it's Tori from Rock Forever Magazine, and I am here right now with Josh and Max from Yumi at six. How are you guys? Yes, very well. I think we're a little bit hungover today. Oh, Last really? night was the first night of a proper hang session with all the bands going oh, out really? so it's a good laugh yeah we enjoyed ourselves yeah. but it was good. an amazing show i was there last night and it was packed and outdoors so you guys yeah. had a good time yeah, cool it's very hot and i know this tour you guys are all kind of best friends so how's it been being with these bands on this tour clearly fun it's great <laughs> it's, um it's actually the first time i've toured with all time learned um Pierceville outside of like a walk tour environment right right so i always find that like, walk tour is fun but you never really probably get to Bro down, so to speak, yeah. Um, and yeah, we've been doing a lot of that, so it's been nice. They're all good guys. Good. Everyone in Melee Parade, we've known for years, toured them lots of times. So, yeah, it's been great. Good to hear. So we're gonna start with some finished sentence. So each of you can answer these. Now, your favorite part of touring in America is Panera Bread. <laughs> what? <laughs> Panera Bread? Yeah. Really? No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> You're definitely not joking. <laughs> right, there's, there is a lot of Panera Bread. Um, <laughs> just, true. just it's a lot of fun, and the shows always have got better and better for us. So. Yes. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. You uh, don't have that back home. Not really as well not as America. Buffalo not wild Buffalo wings. Wild Wings kind of style. So. I got you. I do like the wings, but just playing, playing over here and like the fans are really different compared yeah. to most other places. So it's nice to have a bit of a change. Yeah. In what way are they different? Uh, they're polite. They're a lot more. Really? Po yeah, there's. A I lot wouldn't say that. Would you not? Would you not agree? <laughs> no. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> no, that, no, Max is right. There, there are they're a lot. Of, uh, I think they're a bit more polite to them because at home for us, people just come and grab you and all that. Where I think oh, the manners wow. over here, like, oh, excuse me, do you mind if I have a photo? It's not. It's not always like that. Don't, don't hate on the English I'm kids not, too, I'm much. Not too much. <laughs> uh, no, I, I just think that it's a different culture, isn't it? I mean, obviously yeah. we're from across the Atlantic Ocean, so there's going to be cultural differences. But I think Max is right. There's obviously. Difference, differences between the American fans and fans elsewhere. But I don't, I don't think it's a question of them being more polite and English people being more rude, I wouldn't say that. But then again, people think we're rude because we're English, so maybe it is true. Maybe all English people are horrible. Maybe they, you know, don't, get the dry maybe they, don't, maybe they don't get the dry humor. Okay, everybody comment with your opinion on this topic because I'd love to know what the truth is here. Now, one thing fans might not know about you is... You're really sexy. I never knew that. You Nobody ever that. knew that. Now we know. We, we great lo we're great lovers. Yes. And what about you? Um, oh. Max, not so much. Not so much. No, I'm not so much as actually I think it's the moustache that lets me down. Um, I'm trying to think, a little interesting fact about me. You could help me out on this one. Um, Max. I, do I snore bad? Max has a snoring issue. And that must be horrible on tour then. Yeah, I run with him. But then at the same time, he's also the kind of guy that in the morning will get the tunes on, he'll be singing, gets a good atmosphere. So if you, if you haven't, it's not great if you're really hungover, but if you're not, okay, it's then, it's, then it's quality. But no, he's a, uh, I don't know, I'm trying to think. I try and bring high spirits to the table. He's, you're he's, a cheery he's, lad. Yeah, he's, a, he's a morale booster, this boy. Absolutely, definitely. All right. I'm not actually a great lover. I just like playing FIFA and that's about it. <laughs> So I got so I bring to the table. And now, if you could trade places with any other band member from this tour, it would be. Um. <laughs> maybe Mike from Pierceville. Vale. And why is that? Because he has this little bit in one of their songs where he plays the bongos, and he does like, what's that? What's that? A film with um, Russell Brand and Fifty Cent. Get him to the creek, and you know the bandmates when he plays the bongo. Yeah. He does like the <laughs> little. That. She's like, I don't know, man, I'm just the black guy playing the bongos. <laughs> That's the way he does it. I, I want to be able to play the bongos. You so. should introduce some bongo in your set. I think that would be pretty the cool. Bongo solo. Yeah, bongo <laughs> solo. Dan, get Dan on the case. There you go. Um, if I was going to be anybody, he's taken one drummer. I'm going to go for Ryan from All Time Low because he's got a massive love for Foo Fighters like me. Oh, okay. good. And he can play drums, which I can't do, so. Well, we can work on that. You yeah, can learn drums. Play, yeah. There you go. And now, when you win this year's Kerrang Award for Best British Band, you will... Um, I don't know, probably. How are you going to react? Can we do like a... I don't know, it'll, pro it'll probably be like a celebration is the same as last year. Okay, what happened last year? I can't remember it because it was that good. Oh. That makes a lot of sense. There you go. No, <laughs> I don't know, I d I we're not expecting to win anything, so that way... I think we're just we're going for a bones. good time, so a few drinks and catch up. I don't even know if we can go this year, by the way. Really? Oh, we might be recording, might yeah, we? Yeah, so oh. that probably might be happening. So you probably won't even go. 
So, oh, yeah, there you go. But now the highlight of your s career so far was when? Uh, December 8th last year. And that was? Final night of Sin at the Wembley Arena in the UK. Mm -hmm. I think for us that was a massive goal that we all achieved because yeah. I think I went and saw bands like Green Day there and you've seen bands like Incubus and Linkin Park there. So mm. for us to play like a historic venue in the UK and headline it and set it out, I think just blew our minds. The fact that we actually did something yeah. like that. Exactly, and you released a DVD, so anybody who couldn't make it to the show can see the whole performance. By yeah. downloading it illegally. No, don't do or that. Or streaming it on YouTube. Oh. Don't no. buy it. Stream it on YouTube. Just no. give us loads of hits on our YouTube page. <laughs> that always works. No. And how are you guys going to top that now? What are you going to do to top that night? Um, I don't know. Try and do it all again, but somewhere else. Okay, so we maybe. can do maybe the Staples Center. In Los yeah. Angeles? I don't, think, I don't think we've got any chance of ever playing that place. But, um, Madison Square what? Garden would be the dream next. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. There's lots of things we, we still like to f achieve. But we're still so young. We're only like 22, 23, 24, yeah. 25. So is that right? It's, no, 20, no one's 25. No, 24 is the oldest in the band. <laughs> don't know how old anyone is. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of things we still like to achieve. So hopefully there's time for us to do that. Yeah, anybody at Madison Square Garden who works there wants to help you meet at six out. You're more than welcome to. You can put on a show, no one will come, but you can put on a show there. <laughs> Private I'll show. I'll be there. <laughs> Private show, exactly. And now your album, Sinners Never Sleep, is yeah. out right now, and that's quite an emotional album. One song that sticks out to me is When We Were Younger. Mm. Um, what's the story and inspiration behind that song? Um, it's basically a song about, like, when you're growing up, you kind of perceive your parents or people that are older than you as, like, well, I always did, as, like, superheroes, like, the invincible mm -hmm. sort of thing. And as, we, as you get older, you realise that with age, you, you, there comes knowledge and you sort of realise that your parents aren't always invincible and they can get ill or they can struggle too and it's kind of about like looking after your parents as well as they look after you sort of thing, so yeah. I love that song, I think that's a great song. Thank you very much, and my favourites, I'm glad yes. you like it. And there are a couple collaborations on that album as well, so since you said you were recording fairly soon, um, who would you like to collaborate with maybe possibly on your next album? Uh, Anybody? Drake. Really? Drake? I just like Drake, so... <laughs> for, for me, it'd be Sting. All right. Sting. Yeah. Sting, <laughs> be... Sting got stays. Sting got stays. This is going to be a diverse album, I can tell. We got yeah, Drake and not, Sting. We, won't, we probably won't have any collaborations yeah. in the next record. Really? Yeah. Any specific reason why? You... I just think we just want to just do it ourselves this time around and not have the focus kind of be on somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I mean, not really that I felt that happened on the last one, but I mean, like... We don't need it, so we're not going to do it. And unless like something really cool comes around, but like in, in the early stages, you sort of like join up your mates because it's a good way of helping everyone out. But we don't really need to help anyone out. They know we don't need help from anyone else. So. You don't have to help anybody. They don't need it. <laughs> That's rude. That's coming back from <laughs> dry, earlier. Dry sense of humour. Yeah, dry, English. very no, dry. No, I, I got it. I got it. You're okay. But what about this new music? Is there any? Are there any details you could give us on this new music yet? Um, we've been writing for a while now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to scrap it all and start again. Yep. There you go. We're, let's probably not talk about it at nah, all. There's not really much we can say about it right now. There's nothing locked in, but we know that we pretty much have our album. We're excited to go and record it and get some yeah. new music out there. Is there a timeline for when you want to start releasing more new music? Or if, no? We, if no, we said it, no it, wouldn't be, it wouldn't be good. That's just why are you answering questions about the album? Well, cause we haven't even written it yet. Yeah. You just, <laughs> you just uh, said we'd written an album. No, we haven't. But don't even worry about that question. You can edit that right out. There you go. <laughs> okay, I got you. So it's in the very early stages. Very early stages. Very, very early. It's like a ba like the baby has the, the people have only just had sex, and we've we're not even close to childbirth yet. The embryo I got you. is just creating itself. <laughs> yeah. It, does that even? I don't no, even know no, that no. Name <laughs> The embryo is creating itself. Oh, the that metaphors. There you go. All See, right. English boys. <laughs> My chance. Always keeping it classy here. Yeah. And now we have a few fan questions that we received. Now, one from Faith says, what is your favorite part of being in a band? Getting a tour with my mates for yeah. free, basically. Yeah. Well, not for free. We get, get paid to do it, but I mean, <laughs> get to hang out with my mates and travel the world for free, which is a bonus. There's, yeah. there's, there's, very, few, um, there's very few shortcomings from being in a band, I feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sightseeing for me. There's a load of places mm. that we've been to before that I don't think we would have ever seen if we weren't in this band. Like Indonesia, sure. Australia, wow. so... I think the only, the only downfall of being in a band is if I could bring my mum, my dad, my sister, my girlfriend, some of my mates everywhere, yeah. it'd be sick, but I can't. That would be a crazy tour, wouldn't it? They've got their own lives to do too. That's the only downfall of being away from your family other than that. Yeah. 
It's little to none. And so what has been your favorite place that you've been able to visit on tour because you get to travel a lot? Yeah, I would probably say Indonesia is really cool just for the culture and mm. the scene and like the way of life over there because it's very abstract and not yeah. how you'd think it'd be. And then seeing places like temples and like all this really historic kind the of monkey stuff. Temple the monkey temple pretty badass. temple was awesome. Like we went through like, what was that other temple? We walked up through a temple. It's like crazy. I can't remember what it's called, what, like but we were wearing and dresses yeah, we were wearing and headgear. It's pretty classic. Yeah, so that kind of stuff for me is like the best part. Yeah. Well. It's okay, you like Orlando, Florida too. That's yeah, fine. No, we like Orlando, Florida. <laughs> well right now, so I can't go wrong with that. That's true. And now we have another fan question from Jess, and she knows about your police run-in that happened recently. You were tweeting about that, and it was in the first episode of mm. your uh, documentary for this tour. Yeah. What happened there? <laughs> what was uh, going I can't, on? I can't exactly. I remember our driver, well, TM Sam was driving past someone he changed lanes when he wasn't meant to or something uh, there was police in one lane and we we're trying to get out of that lane because he pulled somebody over and a lorry drove past us and wouldn't let us in so we had to go past him and the police guy was like ah, get you oh. so it's, it was so pathetic it's just basically something that's the job's worth you know when they get like really amped up about just doing something for the sake of them being bored yeah and he just but then he picked us up and then was like so y'all on the band or something and we were like yeah he's like Oh, you should have said you can go right now. We're like, all right, cool. So he let. So we could have killed someone, but because we're in a band, it's all right. That's one of the another perk of the, the job. There you go. Get exactly. away with murder, literally. So <laughs> terrible. Well, there you have it. And now this documentary in American Spring, you're posting that on YouTube. There are gonna be more episodes, yeah? yeah. Yeah. Our friend Tom Welsh, who's sitting right there, is slaving away for us, day in day out. He seems Constantly. very entertained, though, not quite slaving. <laughs> he's, he, well, no, he's, he's entertained right now because he's trying to make us all look slimmer <laughs> by editing the video. Oh. <laughs> so talk, you, your ears burning, mate. Yeah, a little bit. That's, 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 think, that's Tom Welsh, <laughs> Get Deluxe, check him out. I think we just blinded him with that light, so I'm sorry. <laughs> P.S. All bands, we just put him on a retainer so you can't use him. Sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> But have, have there been outside. any moments not caught on camera while filming this documentary that you no, wish no, you would have filmed? No, this Everything? guy, this guy, this That's guy. the rule. That was the one rule I said to him. I was like, your camera has to be on at all times, and it has wow. pretty much been, so. That's dedication. So what has been your favorite thing caught on camera? Probably the walk we did. The next episode is pretty badass. Yeah, okay. the Florida edition is going to be wild, let's yeah, just say that. It's pretty funny. And why is that? What can you tell us? Wait Anything? And Wait and see. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, we can't give exclusives. This guy gets the exclusives right now. And that's I it. got you. It's a revolution. It's a revolution. It's a revolution. <laughs> I got you. So there's some suspense now because I'm waiting to see that episode. If you had to come up with a mission statement for the band of just what you want to accomplish through your music, what would it be? Um, well, I feel like a lot of bands answer this question in a really corny way, so I'm going to try and not do that. Um, we write music for ourselves and if other people like it that's great but I think there's nothing better than there's nothing more rewarding when someone comes up to you and says you know oh, I was having a pretty crap day the other day and your music got me through it like okay I just completely went against what I said and made that sound very corny <laughs> but there's no way of really saying that kind of stuff without it being that but um, yeah if we can help anybody through anything through our music that's great and plus we as Max said we get to see the world so you know yeah. that, that's the dream for us um, but we never really set out with any kind of premeditated mission statement. It was just to kind of put out some music and see what happens. So yeah. it's gone all right so far. So yeah. hopefully keep yeah, going. Yeah, it's gone okay. I think it's a bad thing <laughs> that we're playing music all around the world. You know, sure. and people actually like it. I think that's that's part it's of it. A bonus, really. yeah. yeah. I played something I loved and wanted to do for such a long time, and I actually that is my job now. So thank you. There you go. And, and he can grow a moustache and it not be a weird thing because he's in a band. I actually got, actually got a nice comment about it today. I'd like, like it. But the first comment I got today was, I actually like your moustache. It's strong. But see, there are a lot of people who love your music, which is amazing. But there are some people out there who might not know the band too well and come to their own conclusions. What do you think is the biggest misconception about Yumiya 6? I don't know. I don't really know. I know there's <laughs> lots of, there's always going to be people that say like, negative things or say things that when they haven't really made a proper conclusion but I mean I don't know if there's a common one that, yeah. everyone, that always pops up I guess it's a good thing that you can't think of any that means you're doing something right I think, I think if your if your band isn't kind of if your band's not causing any sort of stir and if everyone's just like oh yeah they're kind of okay you want people to either love you or hate you you want to be a That's mama true. band because for people to really love you means they're going to really support you on every level and then with that there's going to be people that really hate you and I'm fine with that I don't really care so at least the haters are still talking about it yeah That's true. true 
Very true. Spreading and, the word. And yeah. they're still, you know, not in a band. So oh. they're just pissed off that we're living the dream they ain't living. That's the way of looking at it, isn't it? Yeah. That's, why, that's, that's the only reason why people say nasty things all the time is jealousy. And it's not even, maybe not even like a nasty jealousy type thing. It's just like a, a longing and a wish to do that too. So I get why people can take that out with frustration. But, I got you. And yeah. now you are on tour right now with Pierce the Veil, All Time Low and Mayday Parade. What are your plans for after this tour? Just record, I think. Yeah, just to record. Finish the album, record. Over the summer, hopefully. Got you. So no Warp Tour this year? No, no? no unfortunately, no. Well, there you have it, everybody. No Warp Tour for you music but this year. We will Sorry. be back in America in the fall probably doing a headline tour or something so oh, very exciting to hear that yeah. well i'm looking forward to this new music hopefully sometime soon in the early stages but it'll happen the embryo yeah. stages yeah, exactly and anybody who wants to follow you on twitter facebook find your music where can they go you meet six official on instagram you meet six on twitter facebook you meet josh me at six matt me at six max me at six chris me at six dan me at six on twitter yeah our website is uk. And if you just go, just go to Google. Google, Google it and it'll do it. it Google you. knows everything. Got <laughs> Ask Jeeves. He seems to know a lot of things. <laughs> is, is, is Ask Jeeves even still a thing? I don't know. Thing? I, th I still think it's pretty cool. Though. Uh, was it ever a thing? I'm not. It definitely a was a thing. It was a thing. Oh, okay. you, Jeeves okay. had a better mustache than me. <laughs> I got I you. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. It was great, great talking to you guys. Sure. Everybody watching, make sure you check out Yumi at Six. Their album Sinners Never Sleep is out now. Incredible album. Subscribe to our channel as well for more interviews and I will see you next time. Bye.